What's up everybody? Brandon here, aka Jinx from Core Gaming. I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my Trick Stars. This is uh, how I'm going to be running them in this format as of right now. I uh, really haven't got to play test against a lot of stuff right now, but uh, so far I really like how the deck plays. Uh, I'll just go ahead and get into the deck. I play my trick stars a lot different than apparently a lot of people do. I don't really play to burn. I play more so to control the game. But uh, I'll just kind of explain as I go. Play three Candina. Candina is just a searcher. Uh, search a spell, trap, just any trick star card. Really good card. Uh, three Licorice. Licorice is like the, the card you want on the field when you activate reincarnation to burn. Uh, she's just like a, a good card all around. You can bounce back your Candinas and summon her again next turn to search again. Just a, a really good playmaking card. Uh, two Lily Bells. A lot of people only play one Lily Bell, but I really like the... Uh, she can attack directly and add a Trick Star back from your graveyard to your hand. And uh, when she's searched and added to your hand, you can Special Summon her. So she's a good playmaker card too. And then the last Trick Star monster I play is, uh, I'm not sure how to say this card's name, but I'm going to call her Rodode. Uh, she's really just in here for the uh, Link plays. So you can discard a Trick Star card and special summon a Trick Star Link monster from your graveyard. So uh, just get a like a Holly Angel back and then go into another Link monster or something like that. It's pretty cool. But I only run her at one because I don't use her too, too often, but she can pop up. Uh, the rest of the monsters, I play two Honest, just to help get over big monsters and uh, kind of bait my opponent, I guess. So, uh, yeah, Honest is always just a good card. And then Hand Traps, I play three Droll, probably one of the best cards in this deck when you have a Reincarnation. Uh, two Ash Blossoms and one Effect Veiler. I want this to be a third Ash Blossom, but I'm broke, so... Uh, Alright, moving on to the spells. Play 6 Light Stage. Light Stage is a good card. It, uh, when you activate it, you get to search for a Trick Star monster. And then you can select one set card that your opponent has and they can't activate it as long as this card's on the field. And then for every burn damage you do with a Trick Star monster, it adds an additional 200. So it's, uh, it's a pretty good card. Next, I play three Scapegoats. This card is really good in this deck because, uh, yeah, it's like a, just a first-turn bore load or something. It's just a good card. I play two Desires just to kind of speed up the deck, try to get to what I need fast. Like, if I don't open a Candina and I only open, like, one Licorice, no Light Stage, then I can try and just go through my deck really fast and get what I need, get my plays going. But I only play two. Three is just way too much. You go through your deck way too fast with three and all the search cards you have, so I just decided to play two. Uh, I play two dress because uh, if I like get my boss monsters on the field or if I'm trying to... Uh, I don't know, like go for a play or something, then I can stop them from being targeted or destroyed by card effects. I mean, they lose 600 attack, but if it's just a basic trick star effect monster, I'm probably just going to use them for a link anyway. So. Or the lose 600 attack can actually play into my benefits too. So if they're going to attack, and let's say they're at like 21 and they're attacking my Candina, then I can activate this, make them lose 600, and then boom. And then the one of spells, I play one Rageki. Uh, one dark hole in the main, just for board wipes. Because it's really hard to get over stuff in this deck if you don't have a link monster on the field. Uh, one mind control, and uh, one soul charge. Alright, and traps only run six. I play the three reincarnation. Uh, this card's really good. Uh, you banish your opponent's hand, they draw the same amount that they banished. 
But the really cool thing about this card, which is what I really like about it, is uh, when it's in the graveyard, you can banish it and special summon a trick star monster from your graveyard. So that's really good. Uh, so like you could do like if you have like a Holly Angel and a let's say a a Lily Bell and a Licorice in the graveyard, and I have Rodode and Reincarnation in hand, I could play Rodode, uh, discard the Reincarnation, special summon the Holly Angel, banish the Reincarnation, special summon the Lily Bell. And then I can get my liquors back to hand with my uh, my Lily Bell, and then I can bounce back something special, some the liquors, or there's just different plays you can do. But yeah, this card this card's like the MVP of the deck. And then I play three strike, just because it's it's the least hefty solemn card, and uh, I don't know, it's just it works better for me instead of doing two strikes, one warning, or so on and so forth. Uh, I guess next I will do extra deck. Uh, link fours, I do one firewall dragon, uh, one bore load, one top of logic, and uh, one bell of Madonna. Pretty much just the basic stuff. I really don't go into this card a whole lot. Like the main cards I go into are bore load and firewall. Uh, top of logic is situational, but uh, yeah, I usually go bore load. But that's it for the Link 4s. Link 3, I run 1, just a Deco Talker. Uh, I really don't bring him out a whole lot either, but if I'm in a situation where I can bring out a Link 3 and run over something, then I'm just going to go Deco Talker. So. Link 2s, I play 2 Holly Angel, just because I can spam her with uh, Road Dode or with Reincarnation. And... Uh, she does burn damage, and she can run over things a lot easier than I expected, honestly. Because you, if you have, like, two Licorice on field, and then a Holly Angel, and a set reincarnation, and you pass turn, they probably won't be killing this with attacks. So they'll have to get rid of her with, like, effects or something. Uh, then I run the one Mrs. Radiant, two Link Spiders because of the Scapegoat, and then the one Proxy Dragon just just in case. It's kind of just like a, a card that's there. I hardly never go into Proxy Dragon. Uh, the two Exceeds I play, I play one Break Sword and one Abyss Dweller. I really don't Exceed a whole lot in this deck, and when I do, I'm probably going into Break Sword. And then Situational Synchros, one Black Rose, and one Trish. Just in case I have Soul Charge and there's like an Ash or a Effect Veiler in the Graveyard. Then I have things that I can do. And then the Side Deck, Side deck's nothing crazy, just uh, two Ghost Ogres, uh, two Didi Crow. Didi Crow is kind of there for like virus or just anything that's really spammy from the graveyard. Uh, two Called by the Grave, two Cosmic Cyclone, uh, two Any Spells, two Eater of Millions. One Doom Caliber Knight and one Winter Cherries. I kind of want to change the Doom Caliber Knight and the second Eater to bump Cherries up to three. And if I did that, I would probably take out the Trish, the Black Rose, and the Proxy Dragon and put in like a ABC Buster. Uh, probably like an ABC Buster. Uh, Cleefor Genius, and I'm not sure what else, but yeah, that's going to be it for the deck profile. If you guys have any suggestions or any questions about why I play certain cards, then you can leave them in the comments below. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Peace.